Okay. The final cut by Pink Floyd. Um, this would be the 2017 remaster from the original analog tapes, as with all the others in this series. Remastered by James Guthrie, Joel Plant, and Bernie Grundman. Very shiny cover to this one. Getting a lot of reflection from my uh, my living room here and my camera. Um, this is the last Pink Floyd album to include Roger Waters. And some people actually call this a Roger Waters solo album because um, the other members of the band are are not very present here. Um, actually, even right down to the, the cover here, Roger Waters designed the uh, cover of this album, which is meant to be, I guess, a part of a British military uh, uniform. We've got a poppy up here and some of the uh, medals or um, badges that they would have worn down here at the bottom. Um, the back cover, we've got A Requiem for Post-War Dream by Roger Waters. Um, it does say, performed by Pink Floyd, David Gilmour, Nick Mason, Roger Waters. Um, like I said, I think there's only one song that features David Gilmour uh, uh, on vocals and a lot of uh, accessory musicians here. Um, so this was the follow-up to The Wall. And I believe it was actually at one time um, meant to be a soundtrack to the Wall film. And that didn't happen, um, obviously. But uh, looks like we've got a really nice design here on the gatefold. Again, very shiny, very smooth uh, material here on this one as opposed to some of the other ones in this reissue series. Um, and this one does include When the Tigers Broke Free, which was not a part of the original album. Um, it was uh, only came out, I believe, maybe 15 years ago on a CD reissue, but it is here um, on this one. All right, let's look inside. We've got a poly-lined uh, sleeve for this one, and got the poppies on there again. This is really an anti-war album. Um, we've got a lot of military symbolism on the in the pictures and then in the songs as well. Um, and there is side two. All right, looks good. I'm going to put this one on in just a second. Um, take a look at my other videos. I've got um, a momentary lapse of reason unboxed, which just came out today as well, as well as most of the other Pink Floyd reissues from the last year or so. Thanks for watching.